Octogon and their Nazi Templars from Switzerland rule the US, the UK and the entire world. And in this video I will give you some more proof of that. You have to watch my previous vids on Octagon, Octogon, the Pharaoh show about how Octagon Swiss, Switzerland financed Adolf Hitler in 1923 and the rest to fully understand the continents of this video. I will not repeat all the previous things I showed you in the Octogon Pharaoh series again every time. So here we can see some US police hats which are all octagonal by shape because that represents the code word and secret symbology of the Nazi Templars from Octagon, Switzerland. And here are their octagonal badges. <laughs> Octagon is here. The US police got formed in the mid 19th century around 1840 or 1853 uh, well watch the octagonal shape octagon is here and some more octagon and some more and in the early police days they still looked like policemen and not like an army as today 150 years later and they didn't have the octagon hat yet. That came later. They came together with the rise of the Templar Nazis in the 30th. Yeah, a lot of octagon. Octogon from Switzerland, the Templars. Look at that. American police in the beginning. Well, how could it be else? And this also is the reason that the US brought all the German Gestapo and SS Nazi war criminals and butchers who had a Templars background from Octagon, Switzerland into the US working for the OSS and the CIA. And they quickly got integrated by their fellow US Templars, Masons and Pharaohs slowly transforming the US into a Nazi state under pharaonic Nazi Templar rule from Octogon, the motherland. So this is, it says, uh, the Nazi, the uh, SS secret police. There's an octagon. Here the octagonal hats of the, uh, the police in Hamburg in Germany, like New York. There was probably some Templar or Freemason who wanted to have these hats. Yeah. There is not much left of the original values of freedom and liberty for which true Americans fought so hard for out of the days before 1776. At a time when the Americans themselves were called terrorists by the British Empire. Now the enemy, both foreign and domestic, have definitely and thoroughly taken over, using an entire army within, who wear the symbols of octagon on their heads and on their octagon badges. This is the true army of the Nazi Templars from Octogon. This is the true military wing of the Pharaohs, the Nazi Templars. Now what do they need a tank for? Oh. Their financial wing also carries the signs of Octogon or others. Look at the octagonal shape. Just as the uh, Chase Bank here. Well, this is a, uh, a typical pharaonic Nazi Templar bank from Octagon, Switzerland, originally. Well, Octagon is the symbol for the Templars and the Templars cross. 
and it's a secret code for the Templars and the Nazi Templars because the Nazis they were real Templars using the uh, organization Octogon and Switzerland was founded by the Templars and the Templars founded the Swiss banks and this is how you get to the uh, the octagonal uh, chase logo which is in fact what you can see here so this is a bank of the Octogon Nazi Templars from Switzerland, their base. Only, well, they talk American, they act American, they smile American, and uh, but they are not. They are not. And the political wing of Octogon are the Freemasons. And the motherland is Octogon Switzerland carrying the name of Isis the whore of Babylon and look how this interior Octogon army has become a menace to freedom and justice how violent and aggressive they are look this is the Octogon club the, uh, the terror club they're hanging around at street corners looking for victims. The military overkill equipment they have and training to kill innocent citizens every day. Well, look at the... Uh, be aware of the guys with the octagon hat. He's a member of the octagon Nazi Templars. This guy has octagon on his head. The symbol and secret code for the Nazi Templars. The enemy within, the interior army. The enemy, both foreign and domestic. Be aware of Octogon. It's on his head. They show it all over. Just follow the signs. The US Marines also led by Octogon. Well, look at the eight-pointed. Marine hat, the two ply hat, of which they carry the symbol over their heads as representing the octagon chain of command coming from above. And here's one for my country, the South African uh, police hat obeying to octagon. Well, look at the form of it. You know. There's Octogon. It's over the whole world. They're ruling the world. The UK police was the first in the world and got founded in 1829. Well, look at their Octogon logo badge. And here the Freemason checkerboard symbology for us being the pawns being moved around by them. And uh, look at the top, it's almost a, uh, a Templar's cross. Uh, why is one part missing? Uh, that's weird. Well, some more checkerboard stuff of the Freemasons and the Octogon of the enemy within the Nazi Templars. The Universal Army to control the people worldwide. And here, some more Octogon Templar stuff. And oh, what do I see here? A Templar's cross on it. Whoa, the enemy within. Octogon. 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 Safer, really? Well, why are you showing octagon, mate? Octogon. Well, it's all the same. It's all octogon. The worldwide police force is octogon Nazi Templars from octogon Switzerland. So, well, check it out yourself. Like in a beehive for Queen Isis. 
we are the workers and work for them. So this octagon Nazi Templar army can hang around at street corners. They are free and we their masons, coming to the true meaning of the word. And for our kids and the next generation of slaves, they show the Bermuda Octagon uh, in the cartoons, so they get used to it. So later in life when they see a police badge or a, uh, a police cap, police hat, then they're already used to it and uh, obey the signs. Octagon Switzerland, the Whore of Babylon. They have seven heads of state as the monster who divide ten ministries among each other, the ten horns. The Nazi Templars of Switzerland, their Swiss banks and their Pharaonic masons rule the world. They're everywhere. Just follow the signs.